Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Configuring ScanAM on the SMA100B. In this short presentation, we'll explain what ScanAM is, what it's used for, and how to configure ScanAM on a Rodian Schwartz SMA100B analog signal generator. Let's start by talking about rotating antennas. Rotation is often used in antenna systems, particularly in the case of pulsed radar systems. This rotation allows a directional antenna pattern to be used, but also allows 360 degree azimuth coverage. The signals that are transmitted or received by these antennas typically have two different types of modulation. The original pulse modulation, as well as amplitude modulation, that's caused by the rotation or scanning of the antenna. This is therefore often called scan AM. The resulting AM and pulse modulated signal is shown on the bottom right. If we want to simulate this type of signal, our signal generator requirements include the ability to produce signals with combined pulse and AM modulation, but also a very high dynamic range, usually in the high tens of dB. This high dynamic range is needed to ensure level accuracy for both the high and low signal levels present in these modulated signals. On the SMA100B, ScanAM is enabled by software option K721. This option can be used to emulate the combined pulse and AM signals that we looked at a few moments ago. To do this, the SMA supports so-called exponential amplitude modulation that can provide the extended dynamic range that's needed in these types of scenarios. Note too that either internal or external modulation sources can be used. The ScanAM option is configurable entirely through the SMA's graphical user interface. We'll walk through this in just a moment, but it can also be configured programmatically using industry standard Skippy commands. It's very easy to configure ScanAM through the SMA's graphical user interface. We start by tapping on the modulation tile and then select amplitude modulation from the list of available modulation types. Next we configure the AM parameters. The first step is setting mode to scan, which automatically changes the type to exponential. To create the scan AM signal, two paths are used, one for each modulation type. These can be the SMA's internal low frequency generators or external sources. In this example, we'll be using the SMA's two internal LF generators to configure pulse modulation on path one and AM modulation on path two. For both of these paths, we'll also need to specify the modulation depth, that is the distance between maximum and minimum power. And finally, we'll need to enable each state to turn on modulation. Since we're using the SMA's internal LF generators for both paths, the next step is configuring the parameters for both generators. Path one is using LF generator one to create the pulse modulation. So here we define pulse period and pulse width. On path two, we're configuring the amplitude modulation, so we need to define the frequency or the period. Note that period is usually the same as the antenna rotation time. For example, here our frequency is 0.5 Hertz, which simulates an antenna which makes a full rotation every two seconds. The only thing left to do now is to set frequency and level and then enable RF output. Looking at the generated signal using a spectrum analyzer in zero span mode, we can easily see our configured modulation depth of 65 dB, as well as the characteristic shape of a scan AM modulated signal. Let's end with a brief summary. The rotation or scanning of a transmitting or receiving antenna can impose additional amplitude modulation on a signal, and this is particularly common in pulsed radar systems. In order to simulate this, we need the ability to create signals with combined pulse and amplitude modulation, as well as a very high dynamic range, typically 60 dB or more. The scan AM option on the Rodian Schwartz SMA100B can easily create these types of signals using a simple GUI-based user interface and using internal or external modulation sources. This concludes our presentation, Configuring Scan AM on the SMA100B. If you'd like to learn more about radar signal simulation or the SMA100B, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.